So one of the things that really was a big eye-opener for me was after I'd been managing for about eight years, I joined a consulting firm that focused exclusively on leadership development and management. And I'd gone to the school of initiation by fire as a manager. I'd just been sinking or swimming, doing what I needed to do. And one of the things that was a big aha to me was this realization that um, maybe my direct reports aren't actually nuts. Maybe it's my problem. <laughs> and that it sounds really silly, but one of the things that I think we all do is we all sort of will tout what our strengths are, you know, and we're often very quick to share with people, well, this is what I'm really good at, and I'm so great at this. And in my case, it was that I was really great at ideas. I'm, I love idea generation. I love problem solving. I love coming up with ideas. I'm not the most creative person, but I really get excited by the shiny new stuff. And what I didn't realize was that me, you know, with my teams always coming up with, well, now we're going to do this and now we're going to do that, was driving them crazy because they didn't know what the priorities were. And that's the thing about strengths. Whenever you have a strength, you have this Achilles heel that lives in the shadow, this behavior that marries up to that strength that's kind of the opposite. So for me, the ideas were great. The backside to that is I didn't always give a lot of structure and give clarity around what the priorities were. I found that out because I had a 360. You join a consulting firm, they're gonna put you through a 360. I got put through one. And I can't tell you what a revelation it was. And it, it, what it clued into me was about your blind spots as a leader and how, and I think it's especially critical when you're successful to realize that you ha we all have blind spots. And when you're very successful, you can walk around thinking that, you know, hey, I know what I'm doing. I got this all figured out. The reality is there is some behavior that's dogging that strength that you're so proud of. And if you don't know what it is, believe me, people around you are talking about it. So one of the things, you know, if you're in an organization like I was before, where maybe they don't have a 360 tool and you can't access it, I started doing um, something with my direct reports that I found really effective and it was I would ask and I would always start with my new teams I would always ask them this question and then I would continue to ask it periodically throughout our working relationship so my question was um, what are three things that I do really well as a leader what are three things that you think that I'm just good at, that are supporting you in the way you need to be supported, that you'd like to see me do more of? And I'd get three very concrete, specific things. Then I'd ask for one thing. <laughs> I like a three to one ratio. Um, one thing that I could improve upon. And I would ask them for specifics. So what would you like to, me to do differently? So I remember getting feedback from one of my team members that said, well, you know, sometimes, Glyne, in meetings, um, it seems like you're really impatient when we're talking about the details. Because remember, I'm a big picture person. I don't want to get into the details. I like the big ideas, and I don't want to kind of know how it's going to have to get done. And um, my direct report said, you know, that sometimes really shuts us down in meetings. And we have to deal with this, and it makes us feel like we're not as important. I said, oh my gosh, well, that's not my intention. Because obviously, often that's the thing. It's not our intention to do this to our directs or the people around us. And so I got really specific um, suggestions from her on what I could do differently, including not writing in my notepad while people were talking, not sort of interrupting and moving along. So she gave me some really concrete things, which was hugely helpful. So I think as leaders, one of the things that um, we all need to do, and certainly I've learned, is be relentless at pursuing your blind spots and make sure that you really understand, you know, what are those behaviors that are sneaking up behind that strength that you have?